This is, this is quite something, isn't it? I'm just reaching out with a message that I hope will be supportive. Um, as you know, I've been teaching for decades, mostly focused on how to create fully so that we're doing our best work. And today I just really want to address this global pandemic that we're in. And I think a lot of the same things that I teach in terms of creating uh, apply to how to deal with what's going on right now. So as we create, typically what gets in the way for most people is feeling certain things that they don't like and having thoughts that are abusive and, and get in our way. So there's no doubt, you know, you just turn on the news, there's no doubt that uh, watching the news, which we're all doing, is generating fear, panic, anxiety, a lot of body sensations. And it's also leading to a lot of panic thinking. So the panic thinking is really what I want to address because once that starts, cortisol gets released in our body, we start burning, burning the engine unnecessarily high and it's not good for our immune system. So here's, here's, what, here's what I suggest. When you and if you feel some panic, nervousness, anxiety, whatever it may be, to connect to what you're actually feeling. Like what is the, you know, we're a mass of atoms. What, is, what are the vibrations that are happening in your body? For example, for me, if I'm feeling fear, it's usually like, a, like some pressure in my upper chest, upper torso kind of pushing up into my neck and that's what I call fear. So for me, when that happens, if I try to suppress it and like calm down, Basically what I'm signaling is don't feel my body and then my attention goes into my head and then I'm in a mental drama. And that's what we wanna step out of. It's not healthy, it doesn't. We need to boost our immune system. So when you feel whatever it is that you feel, take a breath and just connect to it. It's there, it's just, it's not bad. It's just an energy because we're atoms and these are just pulsations, vibrations happening in here. And at the same time, connect to what's in your immediate environment. So you want to see as if you're seeing your immediate environment for the first time. So see it in terms of light and texture and color and space. Take a look. Feel this sensation. Do this now. And just consciously keep your breath going just to feel. And you'll notice that things will start to shift. As soon as you're aware that you've gone back up into your head, into kind of tragic, panicky thinking, return back to the body, feel the sensation that's there, connect to the immediate environment, and keep the breath going. And that is key to nurturing your nervous system. We, gotta, we can't spend time up here. It's just not gonna support us. It's an unusual time, no doubt. And we have to recognize that our nervous system, our ancient nervous system gets triggered. It's you know, our, an, an ancient message that our nervous system used to survive was don't leave the cave because you'll get killed. And we have to have a sense of humor and a gentleness with our nervous system because that very much that message is being sent out now. Quarantine, don't leave. If you go outside, something bad will happen. So we can recognize that that will get triggered in us and the way to come back is just feel the actual sensation and connect to what's really in front of us right now. Breathe see what's around you, feel your body. As soon as you check out, come back. 
and know you're not alone. I'm reaching out. This is my way to reach out to you. So stay in touch. Um, lots of love, Josh.